Okay, Art, thanks so much for your time today. I want to start with the pandemic and just what this 2020 NFL season was. Uh, just your thoughts on how the NFL handled the protocols. Obviously, things had to change as the season went on and what you anticipate for this upcoming season. You know, Missy, it was a uh, season like uh, unlike any other, obviously, and uh, a lot of different twists and turns. And I have to say, uh, you know, my hat's off to uh, the people up at the league, as well as our own staff for holding it together. And, uh, you know, from uh, John Norwig to uh, Garrett Guimont and Omar, the coaching staff, uh, re really the whole organization, it was just uh, – you know, it was a, not, not an easy road to hoe, and, uh, you know, I'm just uh, really happy and thankful that we, we made it through it uh, in as good a shape as we did. Now, in terms of the football team and what they did on the field, winning the division, the 11-0 and start, but then losing in the wild card round, how do you, as you sit back a few weeks removed from the season, evaluate 2020? You know, I'd say, uh, Miss, obviously we got off to the best start uh, in our history and, and won our division. So uh, some great positives there. And, and when I say I won our division, you know, we probably won the toughest division in football as far as I'm concerned. But, uh, you know, then then we hit a, uh, you know, a rough spot there. And, and uh, you know, I, I'm not sure. I think there are a few things that factored into it. Number one, you know, we, we just were having trouble being consistent on offense. Uh, you know, we kind of scored in spurts and, you know, at times we were almost unstoppable and then other times we had a hard time making a first down. So just too inconsistent on offense. And, and I think, uh, you know, the lack of a consistent running game was a, was a big factor there. Uh, and then, you know, uh, with all the schedule changes and, and adjustments, uh, you know, I do, I do think that wore on us a little bit for, you know, a little stretch there. You know, we lost Bud Dupree in that stretch, and, uh, you know, that was a tough blow as well. So, you know, that, that was a tough stretch. But, you know, I think we rebounded from that. You know, we came back and won a game we needed to win to clinch the division. And, you know, and then we played pretty well with mostly backups uh, up in Cleveland that final game. So, I, you know, I thought we rebounded well, and I certainly felt good going into our playoff game and, and felt good about how we we would perform there and uh, you know we just uh, you, you just can't turn the ball over like that you know we put ourselves in a hole that we couldn't get out of and really never gave ourselves a chance to, to compete in that game so it was it was unfortunate uh, you know that that's the way it happened disappointing uh, it was uh, it was like being awake for a nightmare it was just uh, tough to watch and uh, so it's you know so we got to take from that and learn from that and really prepare for, uh, you know, another uh, another season with uh, the challenge of, you know, a salary cap situation that's probably as difficult as, as anything we faced in the salary cap era. So we certainly have our, our work cut out for us going into, into this offseason. Uh, Art, sticking with the salary cap, almost 20 free agents as you guys are going to be heading into this period. How do you guys begin the process of figuring out what to do, knowing that there is going to be a lot of turnover with this roster? Yeah, I mean, we've got to look at uh, all of the options here and, uh, you know, see how we can create some room. Uh, obviously, we need to know what the salary cap is first, so hopefully we'll have that information soon. Uh, and then we'll have to go to work and make decisions and, you know, see if there are contracts that we can adjust and restructure. And uh, so it'll be, uh, as I said, it'll be a more challenging situation than maybe we've ever faced salary cap wise. And uh but we'll, you know, we'll roll up our sleeves and, and uh, get the job done as best as we can. Part of that puzzle piece, of course, will be Ben Roethlisberger. Do we anticipate him being in a Steelers uniform in 2020? Have you guys talked? And what needs to happen if that is the way to go? Well, Ben has been in and talked to Coach about it, and, and Ben wants to come back and play. Uh, uh, and, uh, you know, I think... Coach and Ben have had a couple of good conversations now, but uh, you know, Coach uh, and Kevin have both been candid with Ben in terms of uh, you know letting him know that the current contract structure is not going to work, and so we're we're going to have to figure out if we can work together to you know to craft something that uh, that we all can live with. So more conversations to come there, and uh, you know uh, we'll, we'll see where it goes. Obviously, as I said before, we. Kind of need to know what the salary cap number is first before we can 
figure that out. And, you know, and that applies to a lot of different con contract situations that we have to look at. We saw last week Vance McDonald announced his retirement from the NFL. Do you anticipate any more retirements or is that something you guys are just taking as it goes? You know, we, uh, we, we've heard about one other player that may announce his retirement. So I'll, I'll leave that up to him to decide if he wants to do that or not. Uh, and, uh, uh, you know, so basically I think that, uh, we'll, we'll let that play out over the next few weeks and, and see where we go. Uh, so, you know, more, more pieces of the puzzle will, will unfold, uh, you know, probably here over the next uh, several weeks. A little bit earlier, just going back on the season, you talked about the running game. And at this time last year, that was what you wanted to see improve in 2020. So what do you think needs to happen uh, for the second season to see an improvement and not to finish last? Yeah, well, I mean, I think we've already started to talk about it and, and we have made some changes that uh, obviously uh, one of the things that needs to be addressed is that component of our offense. Uh, so, uh, you know, we'll, we'll continue to look at what changes need to be made as we continue down this this road. But, uh, you know, there's no question we can't uh, we can't finish 32nd in the league in, in, uh, in anything, and particularly uh, in rushing and, and expect it to be successful. So, uh, you know, it's, it's something that just has to be addressed. And I, I think, uh, you know, we know what we have to do there. Overall, how do you evaluate and review Coach Tomlin in terms of the job that he did this past season? Well, again, uh, you know, we, we started out uh, setting a new franchise record at the, you know, in terms of starting the season 11 and 0 and, uh, and uh, you know, and, and won the division. So we put ourselves in a situation and Coach put us in a situation where, you know, we, we got to where we need to be in terms of we were in the playoffs, won our division. Uh, you know, had a home playoff game, uh, which this year, unfortunately, didn't really mean as much as other years. But, uh, you know, we, we were in position to, uh, you know, to try to, to uh, realize our uh, our goals. And, uh, you know, that uh, that playoff game was really just a, a setback that, uh, you know, we, as I said before, we just never gave, gave ourselves a chance in that game. So pretty disappointing the way we ended. But, uh, you know, all in all, coaches, Coach put us in a, in a situation again where we had an opportunity and, you know, he's done that the most of the years he's been our coach and that's why we'd like to keep him as our coach. What is the future with Kevin Colbert? I know he has been kind of going year to year. Uh, obviously would never, he has made it clear, would not leave the Steelers hanging heading into a draft, but do you know what his intentions are for the upcoming season? You know, uh, we'll have discussions uh, with Kevin in the, you know, in the near future as, you know, the next few weeks unfold and uh and so uh you know i don't want to speculate on it uh obviously uh he's got decisions to make and and uh, we'll have those discussions here over the next uh, several weeks are you hopeful that hopefully in the next two weeks we will hear some good news in terms of the hall of fame regarding bill nunn and alan fanica what are you hearing or what is your gut telling you as we're getting closer to when they usually make those announcements well, we have high hopes uh, for, for Bill and Alan and, and uh, you know, wish I could say that I know what the outcome is, but uh, certainly two deserving men and, and, you know, really people that distinguish themselves throughout their career. So uh, we're keeping our fingers crossed and, and looking forward to that announcement the next couple of weeks. Okay, Art, appreciate your time as always. Thank you very much. All right. Thanks, miss.